Good morning, students. Welcome to part 11 of coordinate geometry. In this session, the topic of discussion is centroid of a triangle. How to find the coordinates of centroid of a triangle when the three vertices of the triangle are given. Now, on a plane, we have to discuss something about the straight lines, which we already know. Now, these two straight lines actually have a common point here. That means uh, these two lines are passing through the same point and I named this point as P. Now here I take another case where there are three lines having a common point. Now if you observe here there are two lines and these two lines are passing through point P and here there are three lines and these three lines are having a common point which is Q. Just you pause this video for a while and tell me what are these two lines called and what are these three lines called. Here we call these two lines as intersecting lines. And what are these three lines called? Yeah, these three lines are actually called concurrent lines. So on a plane, if two lines have a common point, then these lines are called intersecting lines. And if more than two lines have a common point, we call the, we call the lines as concurrent lines. Now, here, this point P is common to both the lines. So this point is called point of intersection and here in this case this Q is common to all the three lines and here Q is called point of concurrence. So if two straight lines have a common point then the point is called point of intersection and the lines are called intersecting lines and if more than two lines that is either three or more than three lines have a common point then the point is called point of concurrence and the lines are called concurrent lines. Now tell me Suppose if two lines do not have any common point, then what are the lines called? Exactly, they are called parallel lines. So points, lines without common point are, are called parallel lines. Now, we have to discuss this point of concurrence and concurrent lines in the case of a triangle. Here I have taken a triangle ABC. Now, D is the midpoint of site AB. So, D is the midpoint means the distance from A to D and distance from B to D are actually equal. That's why we have put lines here. Now, what I do is, I'll join this midpoint D to the opposite vertex of side AB. So, here I have taken the midpoint of side AB, which is D. And what is the vertex opposite to AB? It's actually C. Now, I have joined these two points. Now, here we have a line segment formed by joining the midpoint of one side to the opposite vertex. Now here, this line segment is actually called, can you tell me what this is called? Yeah, it's actually called median. So, line segment joining the midpoint of a side to the opposite vertex is actually called median. Now, as we have three sides here, we can have three midpoints, midpoint of each side. Now, I'll, I'll take the midpoint of BC and which is E. And I'll join what is opposite vertex of BC? It is A. So join AE. This is another medium. Median. Now what is the midpoint? I have taken the midpoint of AC as F. Now what is the opposite vertex of AC? It's actually B. Now we can draw another I mean median by joining B and F. So here we have drawn three medians each onto the sides of triangle. Now here the interesting fact is these three medians actually have a common point. These are passing through a single point. So this is actually a point of concurrence and these medians are concurrent lines. This particular point of concurrence is called centroid. So basically centroid is point of concurrence of the medians of a triangle. So this is point is actually called centroid. And generally centroid is generally denoted with the letter G. Now, the important thing here you have to observe is this cent centroid actually divides each median in the ratio 2 is to 1. So, suppose you take the case of this CD, C to G is actually double that of G to D. So, if this is one part, this will be 2. If this is 10, this will be 20. So, this is the important thing about centroid. Centroid divides each median in the ratio 2 is to 1. So, not only that median CD, it divides each median that is AE in the ratio 2 is to 1 
and it divides BF also in the ratio 2 is to 1. Now here our aim is to derive a formula to find the coordinates of centroid of a triangle using these facts. So centroid is basically the point of concurrence of the medians and the fact is the centroid divides each median in which the water ratio it's actually 2 is to 1. Now let us come back to our coordinates here. Here I have taken a triangle just the same one but I have taken the coordinates here. Suppose point A is x1 y1 and the coordinates of B are x2 and y2 and here we have taken a third point for the first time in this series. So we are taking it as x3 and y3. Now what is D for AB? Actually D is the midpoint of AB. Now we have to find the coordinates of D. What is the formula to find the midpoint coordinates? Very good. x1 plus x2 by 2, y1 plus y2 by 2. So you have to take the average of x coordinates and you have to take the average of y coordinates. So here this is x1 and this is x2. So the x coordinate of D is x1 plus x2 by 2 and the y coordinate of D is y1 plus y2 by 2. So here we have to take the midpoint here. So the coordinates of D are x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2. So here consider this centroid. Now this centroid actually divides this line segment in what ratio? It is 2 is to 1. So I have removed the triangle so that uh, you have you can concentrate only on the line segment here. So here we have a line segment CD whose endpoint one endpoint is x3 y3 and the other endpoint is x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2. Now here we have to find the coordinates of this point G and this G divides the line segment CD in the ratio 2 is to 1. Here we have to make use of this section formula. Just recollect sense section formula once to find the coordinates of a point which divides the given line segment in the ratio m1 is to m2. What are the coordinates? m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 and m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2. Now we have to apply this formula in this case. So here you can simply see m1 is to m2 is 1 is to 2. So you can take this as the first point and this as the second. So C, I will take it as D as x1, y1. So here x1 becomes x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 becomes y1 plus y2 by 2. Don't get confused with this x1, x2 and this x1, x2. So here I am talking about this x1. So that's why I have taken in different colors. So the values from the formula are in white color and the actual values I have shown in the black color. So this x1 is actually from the formula. And these colored in the black are actually from this particular problem. So here I will take it as x2 and y2. So this is the second point x3 and y3. Now what is the ratio here? m1 is to m2 is 1 is to 2. So don't get confused. It's so simple. Just try to concentrate on the steps. Now take this formula. Substitute the values of m1, m2 and x1, x2, y1, y2 in this formula. Actually, this is a generalized formula. Here the centroid we have taken it as G. So, I will take it as G. Now, look at this. M1, X2. So, this M1 is 1. X2 is X3. So, 1 into X3 plus M2, X1. M2 is 2. X1 is X1 plus X2 by 2. Divided by, then this whole divided by M1 plus M2. 1 plus 2. Don't get confused. In the numerator, we have a fraction. Be simple. Just you don't worry about this. It's going to be get cancelled. Don't worry about it. Just you concentrate on the substitution. That's it. Now take here. M1 Y2. M1 is 1. Y2 is actually Y3 plus M2 into Y1. Now here this 2 and 2 will be get cancelled. And also this 2 and this 2 also will be get cancelled. So what are we left with here? 1 into X3 is X3 and 2 and 2 get got cancelled, you have x1 plus x2. So in the numerator actually we have x3 plus x1 plus x2 divided by 1 plus 2 is 3. And here also you have y3 plus y1 plus y2 divided by 3. So this is the next step we have. So this is what we have. So x3 plus x1 plus x2 divided by 3 
and y3 plus y1 plus y2 divided by 3. Now here you can use commutator or associative property to make it little orderly. orderly. I can write this as x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 and this is y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. So these are the coordinates of centroid of a triangle whose vertices are x1 y1, x2 y2 and x3 y3. This is actually similar to the midpoint coordinates only. In midpoint we have x1 x2, x1 plus x2 by 2. Yes, we have added two values. We are dividing it by 2. Now here we are actually adding three values. So we are dividing it by 3. x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3. So for the y coordinate it is y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. Practice this formula. It's so simple to remember. I'll, so I'll discuss an example problem so that you can get it clearly. Now here take this case. Find the coordinates of the center order triangle ABC with vertices A 2 minus 5, B 4 5 and C minus 1 3. So you just write the for values here and here this is x1 y1, x2 y2, x3 y3. Add all the x coordinates. What's the formula for the centroid? x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3. So add all the x coordinates 2, 4, minus 1 divided by 3. All y coordinates minus 5, 8 and 3 divided by 3. So this is actually 2 plus 4 is 6, minus 1 will have 5 by 3, minus 5 plus 8 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6 by 3. So here you have 5 by 3 and 6 by 3. So, so it's, it's actually 5 by 3 and 2 because we can cancel 2 times 3 in 6. So this is how you can find the centroid coordinates. It's one of the simplest formulas we have in this chapter. Right? Now here is the assignment for you. I have given 3 triangles. You find their centroids and you post it to me. And here this is a this is you have to solve on your own. You write any three vertices for a triangle and you find their centroid. You have to do this for three triangles. So you find centroids for three triangles on your own. You have to write your own coordinates. You can write any coordinates in the coordinate plane. You, you can give it to a, the triangle any name as of your choice and you have to find their centroids in each case. So this is how we calculate the coordinates of centroid of a triangle when the three vertices of the triangle are given. Practice this. Solve the three problems and I have given and you have to solve three problems on your own and post it to me. Thank you.